Oh shit. Here we go again. Now, it was this cat named Antoine. Y'all know I usually don't cuss, but this was a bitch ass nigga, right? So, let me tell y'all about Antoine. So, y'all remember when I tell when I told y'all in prior stories that be careful what you do out here in the streets because it can catch up with you when you in prison. Well, this is one of them stories. Now, we got to go all the way back. When I say all the way back, I mean all the way back. Now, I was 16 years old, and I met this girl. Now, I ain't going to say her name because, you know, I don't put women out there like that. But I was 16, and she was 19. Now, I was at the basketball court playing basketball basketball with my shirt off you know i had a little six pack back then you know doing my thing now i ain't gonna say i was the best because i wasn't but i was decent so we running a full a full press court right so it's five on five and i noticed this dark skinned chick you know she she was cold i noticed her you know as i'm running up and down the court and i noticed she looking at me so I'm like, all right, bet. So, you know, after the game, I push up on her and I'm like, oh, what's up with you? And she was like, boy, you too young. I'm like, man, what you mean I'm too young? She was like, I'm 19. How old is you? I said, man, I'm 17. Knowing I was 16. She was like, yeah, you still a baby. Hey, let me ask you all a question. For the fellas out there, have a woman or girl ever said that to you before? Even though she like maybe one or two years older, you talking about you still a baby? Man, let me know in the comment section because I hey, Dante don't play that. So I told her like, I said, well, I seen you over there looking, you know, at me while I was hooping. And she was like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, let's stop playing games, man. She was like, no, nah, you you a baby and all this and that. And I was like, well, well I ain't going to say that, y'all, because, you know, this you, this YouTube and, you know, people been reporting my videos, so I ain't even going to go there. But I told her some things, and she got to smiling. And she was like, yeah, all right, yeah, all right. So I'm like, all right. So I said, where you from? And she was like, I stay over there on Edmund Street. I said, hold up. I stay on Edmund Street. I said, what part you stay on? And she was like, over there on, off of Industrial. I said, oh, you stay, you actually stay a couple blocks away from me. I said, let me walk you home. And she was like, all right, bet. So um, we just kicking it. We walking down the street, you know, um, just talking. I don't even know what we was talking about. But long story short, we end up getting um, to my house. And I'm like, yeah, I stay right here. She And she was like, well, I want some water. And I was like, all right, hold on. So nobody was at my house. So I went in the house and she was standing on the porch. And then I, I was like, man, you know what? Let me see. I said, you want to come in? She was like, for what? I said, I mean, you want some water, right? She was like, yeah, but we ain't effing. I said, man I, ain't, man, I ain't thinking about that, even though I was. So she come in the house, and then she was like, you got a wa any water bottles? I was like, yeah, I got a water bottle. So I gave it to her. Now, this is where this story turns crazy. And don't worry, y'all. We going to get to the prison story. Chill out. Matter of fact, y'all hit that like button. Stop playing. So I give her the water bottle. And um, when I give it to her, she started drinking it. And then she set it down. And then I said, are you ready? She was like, yeah. So we got to walking towards the door. She was like, somebody here? I was like, nah. So when I said no, I, I, no cap, she grabbed me by the shoulders, turned me around, and we got to kissing. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all what happened after that. Y'all can use y'all imagination. Well, we end up, we end up kissing, and we end up, Let's put it this way. I went all the way, right? So we ended up doing something right there in the living room. So then after we got done, you know, I walked her home. Now, every day from that day on, me and her was like messing around like every day, either at her house or at my house or at my homeboy Al house, right? Every day for like two weeks straight. And 
So I'm going to fast forward two weeks later. Now I'm back on the court. You know, me and my homeboys, we wanted that full, that full press court, right? Five on five. And this dude named Antoine, he come up there. Now, unbeknownst to me, Antoine and his girl is sisters and brothers, right? And me and Antoine is the same age. He's 16, just like me. So he on the opposite team and we, we hooping. I'm talking about we hooping, right? And um, she come up there and, you know, I, I don't see the connection at all. But every time I go up for a layup, he keep following me. So I'm like, man, what's up with this dude, man? So then he filed me for the last time and I like pushed him real hard. Like I, I went up with a beautiful layup and he like filed the heck out of me. So when he did that, man, I pushed him hard and I threw the ball at him. I tried to take his head off y'all with that ball. And he was like, what's up? What's up? What's up? But then when he noticed like, yo, you in the wrong hood, man. You know, this is all Dante people. He noticed like the energy done changed of cats trying to get at him. And so his sister got in the middle of it like uh-uh y'all better not try to jump my brother uh-uh don't try to jump my brother now when she said this i'm like oh oh okay oh oh dang i'm like this your brother she's like yeah this my brother don't don't y'all better not try to jump him so now i was like i kind of stood back but my homeboys was chill, still trying to get at him now when they was now when they was trying to get at him they was like like throwing punches towards them. And then they just said, forget it. They just jumped them. So you got like six dudes on this dude. They stumping them out. And she basically like laid on them after like 10 seconds. Like, y'all stop hitting my brother. Stop hitting my brother. Right. So I eventually was like, all right, y'all chill out. Chill, chill. Right. So they done whooped him out. Okay. So now let's fast forward. Let's see. 16, 10, 25. I got locked up when I was 24. So 10, eight years later. We're going to fast forward eight years later. So here I go again on the yard playing basketball. And remember, y'all, just eight years later. Hoping, right? Now, I'm new to this joint. I maybe I maybe been here at this facility maybe uh maybe four months, maybe about four months, right? And I'm out there doing my thing. I'm out there hooping. And this this cocky, swole, black dude, you know, he come on the court because we was doing a pickup every time we was doing um, like a rotation game because everybody wanted to hoop. So if you lose, you just get off the court and the next team get on. So we, we, we killing cats. We killing these dudes. So... I see him, and he got his team of five. They right there, and they not the team next, but they the team next after next. So we whooped the other team out. Now it's daytime, right? Now, dude look familiar to me, but not all the way. It's like I, I'm like, I wonder do I know him from Detroit or do I know him from, from Flint? Like, where do I know this dude from? Or maybe I seen him in, in Atlanta or something. I don't know, but dude look familiar. So we get to hooping. Every time I go up, bow, he'll file me. And I'm like, all right, all right, okay, yeah, this prison, you know, we, you know, every, you, you better be used to be able to bump. You better be used to able to bump. So next thing you know, every time I go up, here he come following me. And I'm like, man, what's up with this dude, man? So he 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 go to he go up for a layup and I bridge him. So y'all like, Dante, what is bridging? So when when somebody go up for a layup, you kind of bend over, like bend your back over and catch him, and they you they get messed up. He like he kind of somersaulted in the air and he fell on his back and he jumped up. And he was like, he was like, man, what the F your problem is, man? What's your problem? And then I'm, I'm like, I said, N-word, you keep following me. I ain't going to let you keep following me. And he was like, man, oh, oh, you think S-sweet? You think S-sweet? Yeah, I, you, I, you, yeah, I know 
you um was telling everybody that you f my sister and all this and that. Now I'm like, huh? Like, what is this dude saying? What are he talking about? So he's like, yeah, yeah. You thought I forgot? You thought I forgot? You you was going around telling people you f my sister. Hold on, hold, 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 hold on, y'all. Hold on, audience. First of all, Dante was never, and I repeat, never that type of dude. If I ever messed around with a chick, I never told nobody except maybe my homeboy Al. That's it. I wasn't the type of dude that was going around kissing and telling. Because my philosophy was this. If you, if a girl give you some, right, and especially she older than you and don't want nobody to know, if she give you some and you go out there telling everybody, then she ain't going to give you no more. You know what I'm saying? So that was my whole philosophy. And then, I mean, and then even outside of that, I was just not that type of dude. You know, what I do is what I do. I ain't got to tell everybody, but, you know, I would tell Al because that was my dude. So I'm thinking why he said, yeah, you told my sister I ain't forgot none of that. And this and that. And I'm thinking like, man, what is this dude talking about? I'm like, I'm like, you know me or something? He like, yeah. Yeah, what one you stand on at me? I'm like, yeah. He like, yeah, N word, yeah. It, yeah, I'm saying, it, you know, I got to bleep out the custom words, y'all know, because YouTube be trying to silence me. They already blackballing me. So y'all hit that like button. So I'm like. I'm like, yeah, I stayed on Edmund. He was like, yeah, yeah, I ain't forget about that. And how you and your homeboys jumped me. I'm like, oh, oh, this. I said, Twan? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now at this time, he trying to buck up on me. So I'm, it's all registering to me like, hold on. This, first of all, I, I ain't saying this to him because I ain't explaining nothing. But I'm thinking to myself, like, I didn't jump this dude. I the one got to get my dudes up off this dude, right? And um, I'm thinking, like, yo, what the heck? So after that, he like, he like, yeah, man, run, run a fade, run a fade with me, run a fade with me. So my cats was like, man, get out of here, man. You you trying to fight D over a B, over a B? You trying to fight D over a B? He like, hey, hey, bro, don't call my sister no B. Don't call my sister no B, bro. And my homie, my, you already know how Al is. Al like, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that. He just took off on him. So when he took off, I had to take off. And the other three cats that was with me took off on him. Now, we we whooping them. And the guards, we see them coming. So we disperse real quick. So now, we getting chased all through the yard and all this and that. And it was a big yard, so it, it went down. We was playing basically Tom and Jerry for the next two minutes until he racked he racked back that nine lethal shotgun that had them blocks in it. So hey, we got down, cuffed up, got up out of there, right? So about a week after that, we back on the block. Well, I'm on the block, I should say. Tell me why they put me in this dude block, right? I don't know nobody in this block at all. It's him and about four dudes just with him, right? So they see me come in. I don't even see these cats. They see me come in. When I come in, I go to my cell. It wasn't nothing but maybe five minutes later. So I'm in there unpacking my stuff, and I'm the only cat in the cell. I ain't got no cell, mate. I see this black dude, this black, short, ugly dude walk past and he, he peeked his head in. And then I'm like, can I help you? He like, hey, uh, your name Dante? I'm like, yeah, why, what's up? He said, oh, okay, okay. So I'm like, oh, man. So I'm instantly looking around the cell to see what can I break off right quick. Because if, if he on some BS, I'm just going to have to make an example. And this 2 to 10 that I'm about to serve, about to turn to 10 to 20. Right. So he I, I can't find nothing. Next thing you know, he, here come Anton, right? He come in and it's like four cats behind him. And he, they like, y'all know how you be put how you have your hand open, you boil your fist up and like punching your, your fist. He like, Yeah, yeah, bruh. Yeah. So at that time, y'all, I ain't had nothing but my laundry bag, right? With my commissary and my items. So I hear you up and wrap that thing around my my fist 
and we got the going. I ain't going to lie, y'all. They got me. They got me. Now, listen, everybody that know me, they already know what my prison record is. Matter of fact, in the comment section, if y'all been following me, y'all know what my prison record is. But I did not get, I, there wasn't, this wasn't a one-on-one -on -one fight, y'all. I got jumped. So that don't count, though. It is what it is. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again.